Toronto is a really expensive city, but when it comes to recreation, there are actually a ton of things that you can do for free, especially in the summer. For those of you who are planning to visit Toronto, and even for those of you who have been living here in the city for quite a while and just want to explore the city again, here are five fun things that you can do in Toronto this summer that are free. Number one is to visit the ROM or the Royal Ontario Museum. The Royal Ontario Museum is Canada's largest museum and showcases art, culture and nature from around the world and across the ages. One of my favorite exhibitions for example is this one that showcases the beginning of time and the dinosaur age. I really recommend going to the ROM especially during extreme weather like right now in the summer when it gets up to 35 degrees Celsius. You can take a break from the heat and just chill inside. But wait a second, is this really free? Don't you have to buy a museum ticket? Yes, and the regular admission is $18 for youth, students and seniors ages 65 and above and $14 for children but it's $23 for adults and this is just the general admission and doesn't include any special exhibitions. But luckily, luckily you can visit the ROM for free even as an adult or no matter what your age is on every third Tuesday of each month from 5.30 30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. only. The program is called Third Tuesday Nights Free. However, to visit the ROM for free, you will still need to book a ticket. And if you want to know more about how exactly you can get these tickets for free, then you might want to check out this video up here that I made earlier that tells you all about the steps to get your ticket to the ROM for free. And I'll also put it in the cards at the end of this video so you can watch it later on after you finish watching this video. Number two is biking in Toronto. Toronto has a very decent cycling infrastructure and it's really fun to explore different neighborhoods on bike rather than taking a car or public transportation. There are so many beautiful trails in Toronto and around the GTA, including the area of Queen Street East near the beaches and also the waterfront trail at Humber Bay at the west end of Toronto is just beautiful. It's one of my favorite places to hang out. And if you wanted to and have the stamina, you can even keep on cycling to Port Credit and all the way down to Burlington. Yes, this is actually a thing and there are some people I know who actually cycle all the way from Toronto to Burlington. But for starters, it's easier to just pick a neighborhood, for example, High Park or downtown area and just start by exploring that. If you live in Toronto and you don't have a bike yet, then I would highly recommend you to get one. You can get a decent bike anywhere from $300 and above. And if later on you don't need it anymore, you can very easily resell it. And if you're just visiting Toronto for a short time or you're planning to use the bike just occasionally, then you can just rent a bike from Bikeshare. And I also have a video on that right up here that will show you how you can rent a bike from Bikeshare. Number three is High Park Zoo. I will say that in the beginning, I was quite surprised to find out that admission to High Park Zoo is free. High Park, by the way, if you haven't been there, is located on the west side of Toronto and you can easily get there by bus, subway or even bike. And I would recommend spending a whole afternoon or early evening walking through High Park itself, stopping by Grenadier Pond and Grenadier Cafe even, and then going to the zoo which is located around the middle of High Park. And according to the website, it's opened every day from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And personally, I would highly recommend you to go on a weekday rather than on a weekend because you can imagine how many families and kids are all visiting High Park Zoo on the weekend at the same time. And by the way, I'm planning to make a separate video on High Park Zoo that will be coming out in the next few months. So if you don't want to miss out on that, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and very importantly, set the notification bell down there to all notifications notifications because only if you do that will YouTube actually notify you once there is a new video from me. Number four is Humber Bay which is located at the west side of Toronto also very close to High Park. Humber Bay is one of my absolutely favorite places to hang out. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. There's the Humber Arch Bridge. People just stop there, hang out around the bridge and take selfies and photos. And there's also Sheldon Outlook over here. And from there and in general from Humber Bay, you can also see CN Tower. I've been up the CN Tower once and I had to pay a high price for it and it was worth it to do it once. It was so great to see the city of Toronto from above but I would argue that seeing CN Tower from afar at a distance from Humber Bay is not less of an experience. 
So definitely make sure that you visit Humber Bay. And by the way, it gets super packed in the summer, so I would recommend you to also not go on the weekends, but try to go on a weekday morning if you can get a day off. Or if you want to take photos, go in the evening for the best lighting. Number five is the beaches at Queen Street East. The Beaches is a very relaxed neighborhood and in case you're new here in Toronto, it is also one of the favorite neighborhoods for people to live here in Toronto. It has a ton of great cafes of which many, by the way, close quite early, even as early as 4 p.m. So if you want to go there and visit any specific cafe, make sure that you check out their opening hours in advance. For a fun and relaxed day that won't cost you a penny, go to the beachfront. The beaches here are large and sandy, while around Humber Bay, the sidewalks are relatively smaller and it feels more dense and more packed. Here around the beaches, although it can also get very crowded, just feels a bit more spacious. And also the beaches here has more of an ocean feel to it compared to Humber Bay. The beaches, duh. You can run or bike here as many people do or just go for a leisurely stroll. And if you really just want to relax and let go, you can just lie on the beach and even swim here in the summer. But in case you want to swim, make sure that you pay attention to the signages along the beach. So those were my five recommendations for fun and free things to do in Toronto, especially in the summer. By the way, let me know in the comments what your suggestions are. What have I missed out? Definitely a ton because I've only talked about five, whereas I would say there are at least 20, 30 more things that you can do for free in Toronto that are super fun. So let me know what your favorite activities are in the summer that are free. Leave your comments down below. I'd be so glad to hear from you. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that and it would help me to get this video out to more people. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day and especially an awesome summer and I'll see you again soon.